we are so much more poor people. We feel uh, we are lost, yeah? someone that inspires us. Uh, Dr. Tom Wenga is a father, one non father struggle in West Park. So we uh, believe about what he taught. My name is Herman Wangai. I'm from West Papua. Papuan people or Melanesian people, we consider our land as our mother. So if people are destroying land, then we have our mother heart. There's something that was Papuan fighting for, for the right for so long. I remember when we were at university, we organized uh, one of the West Papuan protests. We raised a morning star flag. We walked across the street. We were arrested by Indonesian authority. They took us to the police station. We were interviewed by the Indonesian authorities for many hours, 16 hours. I was interviewed by them. They asked me a lot of questions. They yeah, intimidated us. My life in prison is, is uh, really difficult. I found is is human uh, human condition. That's I cannot uh, compare. This is a uh, night time or day time because of dark room. I I remember that my uncle was poisoned, made by the Indonesian authority while he was in prison. So when I was in prison, I totally uh, refused uh, any, any food that government provide. So I survived. I only survived because of my, my, my faith. Uh. So I pray, I pray, God, I don't want to die when I was in prison, like my uncle. I went out of this prison dark room to be a free man and continue to fight. Sometime Indonesian authority, they send the intelligence, come to me, midnight, ask me to go out because someone from my family wanted to see me. Herman, your, your family members, they wanted to see me. But I refuse. I know when I follow them, I may be killed. So I refuse them and stay in the prison. When I grew up in my family, uh, yeah, I was told about the importance of uh, yeah, living as a fisherman family. Yeah? When you go fishing or you play close to the beach and you see wave yeah, come, like one wave come, goes by, another wave came, one problem comes, another problem comes. So how do we, we, we uh, maintain our yeah, life facing this kind of problem. Um, we facing problem every day. Military, mili mil military uh, occupation every day. We cannot avoid the, the problem in our life, but we need to face a new patient. Even though I was uh, going through a difficult situation, I never thought that I give up on this this drug. No, no, because. I do believe that spend time in jail has encouraged me, encouraged me to to believe that one day I will have freedom. 
we will have freedom. My dad took me to the island. He saw me, the boat, say, Helman, I don't want you die. You need to escape. Because you already spent here twice in jail. So I don't want you to get arrested for the third time, and then you might be killed by Indonesian government. The only way we organized this trip we didn't tell anyone. Plan, secretly, quietly, it takes risk. Because if Indonesian government knew this plan, they can kill anyone, yeah, including myself. So I took both with the other West Papuan friends, 43 all of us. We left uh, West Papuan border during uh, midnight. Yeah, that time was raining. I remember when everyone get the boat, they need to swim from the beach. They put the, the kids on a few friends and uh, soldiers, uh, so they just hold the kids. I thought it took 16 hours to stay but no, it wasn't 16 hours. First day, second day, third day, we will run out with the food. Everyone feel tired, Starving, I saw some of my friends cry. When they say to me, Herman, how long does it take again to Australia? We face a lot of storms, canoes, turn around, wave, everyone's scared. They still, they keep asking me, keep asking me about Herman when you get to Australia. I say to them, keep praying. If we hold hands together, we pray. Everyone cry. I remember the time I was I was yelling to God, God, please. We read the Bible. We read your your story when you face down. The story of Jesus with his disciples it reminds us when we face the storm, we thought we might be sink in the open ocean and die. Everyone open the mouth up to the sky, just gets the raining. So we could drink to survive. After some friends, they swam to the mainland and they saw Australia kangaroo. We were in Australia and we prayed to God and thank you God. We landed safely. As I'm sharing my story today, I remember my people are still struggling. My people are suffering. My friends, those are fighting for freedom, in prison for many years. I enjoy my freedom here in the United States, but to compare with my people back home, they don't have that freedom. And this song is composed by one of the West Papuan anthropologists before he was killed by Indonesian military. And he composed this song to remind every generation in West Papua to continue to fight for the right that we are dreaming for, we are longing for. Freedom. What a dream for, what I'm wait for, there's nothing else, only words of freedom. 
yang ku damba, yang ku nanti tiada lain hanya kebebasan. What a dream for, what a wait for. There's nothing else. Only words of free.